The aim of this procedure is to study spatial cognition in mice using variations of the water maze. Unlike other models, the water level is shallow enough to allow the mouse to paddle instead of swim. A mouse is placed in the centre of the maze and allowed to seek the exit. The exits of the paddling pool are located on the sides to mimic a more natural escape response. Once the correct exit has been located, the animal is removed and data representing spatial cognitive ability is recorded. The main advantage of the paddling pool or paddling Y maze over existing techniques for testing spatial cognition like for example the Morris water maze or the Barnes maze is that it's much less stressful than the Morris maze certainly and you don't get confounding local or factory cues as you would in the Barnes maze. Three successive designs were made of the paddling pool. Mark 1 is a circular pool, 85 centimetres in diameter, with 12 true or false exits. Mark 2 is an octagonal pool, 86 centimetres in diameter, with 8 true or false exits set in the corners. Lastly, Mark 3 is a dodecagonal pool, 120 centimetres in diameter, with 12 true or false exits set in the corners. Each design is built on a white base and is surrounded by transparent walls made of clear acrylic plastic. The pool is filled with 20 to 25 degrees Celsius water. To reduce the